so hey i was setting up my system i was setting up i3 uh, status and uh, uh, i3 you know i was not setting up i3 status but i3 blocks um, you know i was i just reinstalled arch um, i think you might saw my previous video about my arch setup um, i think you saw that i i3 blocks setup so this time i just reinstalled it and i thought um you know uh, i would use uh, two status bars uh, just cause um i3 status provide a um, good status bar at the bottom you can uh, set the ssid and then the you know ethernet or whatever at the bottom and then the top you can set uh, i3 blocks so how you can set it set it is by adding two bars now one bar the first bar should be uh, the i3 blocks and uh, then adding the color and then the position should be at the top or left uh, i mean top or bottom so that's i3 blocks and uh, you can define some color variables there and uh, now coming to the bottom you can see i have defined another bar and that is for i3 status and you can get the i3 status package uh, from the repository uh, just download it and um, i have de uh, defined the position at the bottom and then the font i have that and then and i set the workspace button to no just because i don't need that workspace number at the bottom for i3 status but if you need that uh, you can just uh, let me show you that how to enable that refresh it what's sorry um yeah let me just define this here what do we need okay so um right now you can see the uh, number there but i don't need it uh, but uh you can uh, disable it just by going with no okay let's suppose that and uh, where you can set um, the properties of i3 status is um, hc i3 status dot con okay and uh, i have uh, disabled the ipv6 and uh, battery disk load memory i have all those things in my i3 blocks so i don't need in i don't want to duplicate everything so i disabled it but if you need that you can uncomment it and use it and then you will have i3 blocks at the top and i3 status at the bottom mm, that's convenient some way somewhat and uh, there are some other properties that, i mean th th the one of the good things is that uh, you don't have to write a script for i mean that's easy but I'm saying you don't have to write script for you know wireless Ethernet status and then IPv6 load those are all inbuilt and you can get some others from internet but I prefer using i3 blocks I, I just the point of this video is just to show you how to um, add two um, bars at the same time in i3 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 gaps so right now I have two bars and you can use one or both at the same time so um, yeah I was rising my i3 and then my entire system right now uh, you can see at the top my i3 blocks are missing phones so it's not displaying those icons um, I have already have the backup uh, so I'm just uh, building that from the scratch and this is my i3 blocks i i will upload that soon to my uh, if, if you saw my previous video you will get that get everything that's nothing fancy okay uh, yes so this is it uh, simple screencast uh, just to show you how the bar works that's it so yeah thank you all for watching